How do you suss out cultural expectations when joining a company? Yeah, it, it's a great question. It's It can be really hard and kind of scary sometimes to be the one that has to bring that conversation to the forefront. So coming in with, um, you know, clearly stating your expectations for the conversation, saying, hey, I want to do great work and I, I want to be, uh, you know, comfortable contributing to this company. So I'd love to have a conversation about what good looks like. I think um, from uh, Brene Brown's work, Dare to Lead, there's a, there's a kind of a, a phrase in there, paint what done looks like, or paint, uh, you know, set clear expectations for, for what a project done well looks like. So if you have a project that's been assigned to you, defining success criteria for that project that is a very uh, a conversation I would love for my team members to come to me and say, hey, can we talk about uh, if X, Y, and Z is accomplished, do we both consider this project to be a success? Um, having those kinds of alignment conversations is really great. In general, um, if there isn't any sort of documentation on engineering cultural norms, asking about what is our code review process and what are the what are the expectations around that right do we do we do code reviews do we require two approvers um if somebody has a change request and i make it can i merge it or do i have to wait for another approval all of these little things are really really important to to know going into your role um and and they're not always well documented depending on how what stage your company's at uh, I, I think that any engineering manager would be happy to have their, their new report look for clarity around these expectations because it's often not the fact of not caring or, or not having the time. Well, actually, it is a, fac a factor sometimes of not having the time. Depending on what's going on, maybe nobody's written that documentation yet, so it doesn't exist. And then, uh, you know, treating every new person joining your team as an opportunity to reflect on... Um, are we setting up our new employees for success and how much of this conversation that we're having or issues that are coming up could be resolved by creating some clear documentation, adding some content to an onboarding session, things like this. We can be iterative about getting better and better at creating these safe containers where people understand the, the unspoken rules of operating successfully in the company.